we base our sharing today on this uh, on the theme which is the Rukun Nagara which are the national principles that uh, were declared on Madeka Day in 1970. This was in reaction to the May 13 incident in 1969. And so after that, the government set up a committee comprising of uh, all religions, all states, uh, leaders and so on. And uh, the National Consultative Council uh, headed by Tun Abdul Razak, created this uh, national principles or Rukun Nagara. And uh, those of us uh, young enough <laughs> might remember that uh, on the back of almost uh, every exercise book, the Rukun Nagara was uh, printed. And in many school assemblies, in, uh, you know, at least weekly, we would recite these uh, Rukun Nagara, uh, these national principles for our country. And they are important because this guides our country or should guide. It's a kind of a social contract, but with good reason, good purpose also. So we don't just uh, recite it. Well, that's, that's part of the problem. Because something that is recited so often loses its meaning and people forget why we had it in the first place. And people don't bother to think of what it means. Right? And the first one is belief in God. That I believe, uh, you know, everyone can agree. Yeah. Uh, every every state, every government, uh, all the residents, uh, the majority, believe in God in some way or other. So we can all agree on that. And the fact is that the Bible tells us that all government is ordered by the Lord. He creates government. He creates leaders to lead every government. He orders kings like he orders the river courses. There is nothing under heaven that God is not in control of, that God does not know. And so we can be certain that the Rukun Nagara, at one time at least, uh, was uh, directed by God. And all the principles are honorable, right? Belief in God, loyalty to king and country, supremacy of the constitution, rule of law, good behavior and morality. Uh, sadly, in this day and age, in the government, in parliament, good behavior and morality is somewhat lacking. Uh, even today, on Malaysia Day, there were groups of people who were intending not on good behavior, on bad behavior, to protest and, uh, what do you call it, disturb public uh, peace. So, sadly, but we will pray through uh, these uh, five uh, national principles, the Rukun Nagara, because this is important for our country. Right? And we thank God for our King. Thank God for this present uh, Agong. In an unprecedented uh, trip through Borneo, his Borneo adventure, uh, before he steps down in January, he and his consort, the Raja Permaisuri, had a momentous, momentous drive through Borneo. And you might have seen the clips where 
the Raja Permaisuri. Oh, she felt so touched by the people who waited in the rain to meet them. They were soaking wet. Even their babies and children were wet from waiting for, to meet the king and the queen of our country. Indeed, there is great loyalty to king and country in Malaysia. And may that continue. Hallelujah. The Constitution guides our freedom, our liberty. Everyone is equal. Right? Everyone is equal. It also decides our uh, who is a citizen. And that's one of the things that need to be reformed that not just uh, one parent, but either parent is Malaysian and the child will be Malaysian. So that we don't have the present situation where people have to go to court to get their right. Because they were born in this country. They have no other country to claim. One of their parents was Malaysian, but as it stands now, only... If the, uh, I, I, I can't remember which one, but if only one parent. Huh? And so we want to make it that either parent will be, uh, it's Malaysian and the child can be Malaysian. And rule of law, well, we know that the law as in the constitution guides and rules our country. And may it pro continue to do so. There is only one law, the civil law, that is supreme over this land. And we want to pray that that will continue to be so. Hallelujah. Thank you. That the Lord created the supreme law of our country that's in the Constitution, that leads and guides us. There are presidents and there are procedures and we thank the Lord that he has brought us to where we are today and we pray that we'll continue to be ruled by law and those who want to break the law we pray that our courts will be will deal with them and finally good behavior of course uh, I used to wonder <laughs> my Malay is not that good uh, what is kesopanan and kesusilaan. Uh, but uh, we know it's good behavior and morality. Right? Morality. And these so are, are so important to hold society together so that uh, things don't go bad, people don't go wild. Right? So, yes. We will uh, pass on to time of prayer led by different pastors